Hey everyone, Don Evans here from watchreport.com. Yes, that's right. We have a website as well where we do written reviews. The link is in the description. Today I have the Alkin Model 2. For those not familiar, Alkin is a British-based microbrand who released their first model in 2018. I unfortunately did not review that model, but this is model two, a super compressor style dive watch, dual crown goodness as some like to say, and is going up for pre-order on June 30th. Three colors will be available, the black you see here, a blue dial as well, and a white full loom dial. Pre-order pricing will be around 325 pounds or $403. The example I have in hand is a prototype, and like most prototypes, there will be a few changes. But the changes are extremely minor. The loom will be improved on the bezel and triangle, the Alkin print will be larger on the clasp, and a little more resistance for the internal crown. I will also point out the finishing on the back of the bracelet is a little rough looking, but again, this is a prototype, and those type of things are to be expected. Here's some music, as I guess I need to give a warning for that, and some video of the different angles of this watch. So you have a pretty typical dual crown uh, super compressor style case, sandwich dial and a three link bracelet with a nice flip lock clasp and five adjustment holes. Sadly, there is no extension of any kind though. Beyond that, there's a whole lot to, uh, that I do like. The hour and minute hand are not only long enough but also wide enough to easily read but not overtake the dial. The dial text is kept to a super minimum. I love a sandwich dial, and I like the use of the Panerai style numbers and markers, even if it is a style that has been overused in a lot of the microbrand world. An all brush case, drilled lugs, and even with 300 meters of water resistance, they managed to do an exhibition case back, showing off a mundane Miyota 9039. When I say mundane, I mean just in terms of look. I do not find the basic movements attractive, nor do I really care to see them. This is with any watch with a basic movement, but as far as functionality and accuracy, the Model 2 is upgraded from the Model 1 as that used the NH35, and it's nice to see a movement bump here. I also like that they went with the specific no date movement for a no date watch, which means no phantom date wheel. If you want to see a follow up video of this watch once it's available in December, leave a like and make sure to subscribe so you never miss any of our content. The look and feel of a dual compressor is definitely here. Even the internal bezel crown has that classic crosshatch design, while the time crown has a deep engraved A. Even though the loom is to be improved, I find it to be really good on this current prototype, so looking forward to see the final production models as they should be mini flashlights. The fit is great on my 7.5 inch wrist, and I love that this watch is thin and manageable. Thick and chunky watches can be fun, but there is something to be said for a watch like this that has a nice solid feel, but also stays out of the way while on the wrist. The Alkin Model 2 will be available for pre-order either as you watch this or very soon after, and of course the link will be in the description. As I said, I never had the Model 1 in hand, but I do really like this Model 2, but I'm a sucker for a dual crown dive watch like this, and from what I can see from this prototype, this is going to be a solid watch for the money. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.